Vice President Harris has been getting a lot more attention since President Biden endorsed her. And today we're taking a look at one of her claims about Project 2025 and IVF. A woman's access to in vitro fertilization has been thrust into the spotlight recently after Senate Republicans blocked a bill that would have made IVF a right for women across the country. Democrats have been sounding the alarm, focusing on proposals written in Project 2025, a conservative manual by the Heritage Foundation that some say could be the blueprint for a second Donald Trump presidency, though Trump hasn't said as much. Trump has distanced himself from this uh, project. Uh, but it does um, share a lot of the same personnel. The plan calls for executive branch overhauls and tax cuts, and Vice President Kamala Harris argues it will limit access to IVF and contraception. But our partners at PolitiFact say Harris's claim is mostly false. Product 2025 doesn't specifically recommend restrictions to IVF. Um, it also doesn't call for restricting birth control pills or IUDs, but it does say some things that could have an effect. PolitiFact says Project 2025 does recommend restricting some emergency contraceptives from no-cost insurance and supports defunding Planned Parenthood. It also has language that supports rights for fetuses and embryos, which legal experts told us could threaten IVF uh, and some forms of contraception. And you can find a full list of all of our fact checks of the presidential candidates. That's up on our website, WMUR.com. In the studio, Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9.